Passive income is probably one of the most popular topics on the internet right now. And I know what you're thinking. You've already watched videos on passive income and how to make money online. And I'm not one of these people who's gonna promise you that you're going to make money in your sleep overnight. Passive income requires upfront work. And that's why I really wish that people would just call it automated income, but I know that's not gonna happen and that's not how the YouTube algorithm works. So today we're gonna talk about the 10 best ideas in 2020 for passive income. And spoiler alert, uh, this video is not for everybody. I really feel like this is for people like me. That's who I make videos for, people like me. So I feel like if you're creative, then this video is for you. I feel like if you don't have a lot of upfront money to invest in something, that's okay. I didn't when I started either. And so that's kind of who I'm making this video for. So if that's for you, you can keep watching. Let's get into 10 ideas for passive income in 2020. Let's jump into that video. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake helping you create something awesome today. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about passive income and making money online. I've got 10 of my best ideas for passive income in 2020 for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Passive income idea number one is to start a print on demand business. So a print on demand business would basically be you selling you know, t-shirts, hoodies, posters with your own artwork and designs on them. This is actually something I started doing when I was a lot younger in my late teens and my early 20s with websites like Cafe Press and Zazzle.com. Today, because I'm a YouTuber and I'm not really selling my own personal artwork and graphic design anymore, what I'm doing is I sell merchandise and I sell things uh, to my audience directly and I use websites like Teespring and Spreadshirt to do that. For a lot of you, this is actually a really good option because there's not really an upfront cost to doing a print on demand business today when you use these established websites. And there are a lot of great free tools that you can use that would help you. So you could use things like Canva, you can use things like Adobe Spark, you could also use things like Placeit so that you could actually make mock-ups of your stuff and promote it in your social media, whether that be Instagram, whether it's your YouTube channel or your blog. And you don't need a huge audience to start making some money with print on demand products. You do need to eventually scale that either with an online audience, an email list, or through paid advertising to be massively successful. But if you just wanna get started and you want to make a little bit of income on the side, then making these products is a good place to start. Passive income idea number two is to become a published author. Now, just so you know, when you make t-shirts and hoodies and mugs, you probably can make anywhere from five to $10 for every sale on that or on your prints when you do a print on demand business. By comparison, when you publish books, whether it's an ebook, a print book, or an audiobook, your royalties on that are probably going to come out to anywhere between three and eight dollars per sale. And it's much harder to write a book than it is to design a t-shirt, for most people anyway. But if you do have the writing ability, you have a story to tell and you wanna put it out there, there's never been a better opportunity than to do direct publishing with Amazon through their Kindle Direct program. Consider becoming a published author. I actually wanna do a collab with my friend Dale from Self Publishing with Dale because he will actually help you if you're looking to become a self-published author. Passive income idea number three, software as a service affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is something that I've managed to do very successfully over the last few years, and not just because I've done Amazon affiliate marketing for things like camera gear and the stuff that I use to film this YouTube channel, my cameras, my microphones, my lights, but also the software I use in my other online business ventures, software that I've used here to help me as a YouTuber, uh, things that I use every single day, I recommend to my audience here on my channel, my blog, my other YouTube channels, and it actually adds up to a substantial amount of passive income because software as a service tends to have a monthly price attached to it, a subscription. And when you have that, you can get generate recurring passive income. This is probably the closest thing to true passive income, something that eventually is automated and you really don't have to keep putting in work in order to maintain it. And that's because most people, when they have a software-based subscription and it's helping them with a task, they usually don't quit their software. My most successful software as a service affiliate has probably been TubeBuddy. I did a video um, where I've talked about this before and I've shown you guys those real numbers. I do five to $6,000 every single month in recurring passive income from TubeBuddy. 
that is more than enough for somebody to live off of if they don't live in New York or California. So you can make money off of this and make a living off of this. So when you look at software as a service, it is one of the best opportunities if you have actual knowledge and can make decent tutorials for people, then you can benefit from this. Passive income idea number four, start a YouTube channel. Now I know what you're thinking, Roberto, doing YouTube isn't passive. It can be eventually. I've been doing YouTube for a number of years and there have been plenty of times where I've gone more than a month without uploading a YouTube video and I still have earned on average $2,000 or more even in months where I didn't upload because my previous old videos in my case are search engine friendly because I make search engine friendly videos instead of trying to make trending videos about what's happening right now most of the time I still benefit and I still make hundreds of dollars from individual videos that I made two or three years ago that are still helpful and so you can see why that would work out for me. But by also doing YouTube, I have the ability to place affiliate links in my description. And so that helps me make new affiliate sales. I also am able to link to my own products and services. And so it's lead generation for me. So you can see how at a certain point, YouTube can become automated. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen very early on. It really comes down to the type of content you make and whether it's evergreen search and for engine friendly content. And then also its ability to reach a buying audience and use other things like affiliate marketing or digital product sales to help you grow an income. And so I think when you look at YouTube from that perspective, it truly does become passive over a period of time. Passive income idea number five, membership websites. So to be honest with you, my membership website, awesomecreatoracademy.com is not fully passive, but for some of you, it could be. Now I host this on a platform called Kajabi. If you want a 28 day free trial of it, I'm gonna to link to it down below because I do think it is the best platform for memberships. And I'm gonna do a dedicated video for those of you who want to get into membership websites of your own. Now my membership is currently $59 a month. In my case, we offer a lot of live training in that program, but not all of you need to do that. I know a lot of people who have $29 a month memberships and it really is just access to their program. And for them, it is automated now that they've already made all the course material, put all the modules in place and they do update those things from time to time. And so when I look at that, it can be for some of you, a truly passive revenue model that has recurring income attached to it from those monthly memberships, but my version of it isn't that passive. It can be, however, because I do have a team now. And if it wasn't that I feel that some people are signing up for me rather than for the material, I could hand off all the live training to my team members. And it's something we may do in the future. But right now, I just feel that I'm the strongest aspect of the brand. And so that's why it's not truly passive. But for other people, I really think it could be. And like I said, the platform that I'm using for this is Kajabi. There are plenty of membership platforms out there. I just feel like this is the better option for me because I also offer other types of products and services. So it's the best all in one that I could find. And like I said, if you wanna try it, there is an affiliate link down below, it gives you a 28 day free trial. Passive income idea number six is gonna be digital downloads and templates. And this is something my friend Peter McKinnon does very well that I think is smart. So Peter McKinnon uses a website called Selfie. It's actually really affordable if all you wanna do is digital downloads instead of something like memberships or courses. Peter sells LUTs packs to people who are video editors like YouTube content creators, also sound effect packs, and also his Lightroom presets for photographers. So he's selling stuff that would help other people who are creative like him. And it's something a lot of you could do as well. And with Selfie, it's perfect because by selling 25 and $30 digital download products there, and then also combining that with his YouTube channel, he has this really great pipeline for people that could buy from him to try to create things that look a little bit more or feel a little bit more like the content that he is making. It's a really smart business move. I did something similar with one of my products called the YouTube Starter Kit, where I took my Photoshop and graphic design skills and I made a template bundle with like 100 plus Photoshop templates that I sell for $99. Now I use Kajabi to sell that because I also tied it to my membership website and that's why I went the all-in-one route. But if you want something more affordable, then Selfie is a really good option for selling digital download products, templates, and things like that. And so I'm gonna recommend that. Link is in the description down below. 
Passive income idea number seven, of course, is selling online courses. Two platforms that I recommend for that are Kajabi, of course, but also Teachable. Teachable is the more affordable of the two options. And so if you're not going to also do something like a membership website, then I would go with Teachable because you could do coaching with that and you can also do the online courses. Now, obviously the coaching, if you're doing one-on-one -on -one calls is not passive, that's active income. But if you are selling online courses like my friend Pat Flynn, then guess what? This is perfect for you. My friend Pat sells his Power Up podcasting course as well as uh, many of his other courses. Some of them are actually tied to his book, which he did as a self-published author. So you can see how these things start to tie together. I do think that this is a legitimate way for you to make passive income online, especially if you're somebody who's older. We have a lot of people in this audience that are like me. You're over 30, you've lived a career, you've done a job, you have the ability to pass on what you've learned in your career to others and scale it. Online courses is a way to do that and it can earn you substantial passive income if you explore that. So like I said, two recommendations for selling courses. Kajabi and Teachable, with Teachable being the more affordable option if online courses or coaching is more of your speed instead of a membership website. So again, those will be linked down below. Passive income idea number eight, home stretch here. Passive income idea number eight is going to be Amazon affiliate marketing. This one is probably the easiest for people to get started with, but one of the hardest for people to be successful with. A lot of people despair because they don't have an existing audience to start with when they go into Amazon affiliate. I've done several videos on helping you build your audience in different social media platforms. One of the things that I would recommend is if you use the commission programs like the bounties for Audible, where if they you know get two free audiobooks forever with a zero dollar upfront free trial, you get a $5 commission on that. That is the best way to get your initial sales as an Amazon affiliate. I've done a whole video about this. Now, what a lot of people don't look at is the profitability. Amazon has a between one and like 8% commission structure. And so if you're just selling books, it's not going to be that lucrative. I obviously focus on things like microphones and camera gear for content creators which is disproportionately much more lucrative since it means if I sell the right camera lens or camera body, I'm looking at 50, 60, $80. Sometimes if it's low ball, 20 or $30 commissions on those individual sales. So you really have to look at what categories are profitable for you and that you can do honestly. Being a product reviewer strictly on something like YouTube, if you're doing something like microphones would be extremely profitable if you're targeting that niche of musicians and podcasters because people who invest in those tools have to invest in those tools for the sake of their career and they're going to be in that affluent category of buyers. So that makes this an honestly a good approach for you when it comes to Amazon affiliate marketing. Passive income idea number nine is Skillshare.com. Now we don't talk a lot about Skillshare, but I'm a big fan of it. And I've used it myself in order to pick up a few skills or brush up on things. I'm currently actually trying to uh, brush back up on Python for some web development stuff that I wanna do on the side. Um, I have a long-term project that I've been thinking about. My point is that people go to Skillshare all the time uh, to either get free courses or some courses that are behind their subscription paywall. The difference between putting tutorials and things out on Skillshare instead of YouTube is that to make AdSense money on YouTube and get paid for it, you have to qualify with 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Skillshare, you start profiting in proportion to how much time people spend on your content and you do that from the very beginning. And so it's actually probably easier to make your first $100 on Skillshare than it is to make your first $100 on YouTube, if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, Skillshare is an underrated opportunity and is completely free for you to actually sign up as an educator. But if you wanna see what people are doing on Skillshare so that you can see if you can make quality content there, then you should probably sign up for a free trial. I'm going to link to that down below as well. Which brings us to passive income idea number 10, the piece of resistance. Your own niche website. By targeting a specific niche of buyers, you have a tremendous opportunity. And so you can either do a combination of running ads on your website, you could do affiliate products on your own website, you could even sell your own products directly to people. You have every option and you own the platform. You're not subject to the whims 
of the YouTube algorithm or the Instagram algorithm. This is a huge opportunity that I see people missing out on because they think having their own website is too much hassle or it's a dead end. Why would anyone come to my website versus all these social media platforms? The niche part of it is important because you're creating and building a resource for only this group of people. So there's a level of exclusivity. That exclusivity is the reason to leave a social media platform and come to you. You have to create that experience and that exclusivity to accomplish that. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. So we will do a dedicated video on you know, building your own blog from scratch. I am gonna recommend that if you want your own website and you wanna be in control instead of relying on social media, Bluehost actually hooked our audience up with a special discount. It's a pretty substantial one. So if you wanna check that out, it is linked down below but you can use any web hosting you want. If you want to not have to build a WordPress blog, you obviously can use Squarespace. We'll link to that down below. There's just any number of ways you could do this, but at the end of the day, I really want you to just explore these ideas and think about what is reasonable for you, what is the lowest cost of entry for you, and what are you capable of being consistent at over a decent period of time. None of this is get rich quick. None of this is overnight success. And of course, your results may vary based on how much time you can put in, how talented you are, and also how quickly you can learn new things. Question of the day. What was the most interesting passive income idea that you heard in today's video? I would love to know in the comments. And also, are you doing any of these right now at all? Also, let me know about that in the comments. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to come back. I have a lot more Make Money Online content for you. Uh, there will be some recommendations for that in the description down below. And hopefully the YouTube algorithm is promoting my content instead of something else for you. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content here on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching. And don't forget, go out there and create something awesome today. Hopefully, it makes you some passive income. Take care.